Guys, guys, welcome back to another trading video. So everyone's looking for that kind of pair that's going to make him millions of coins, right? And it's it's just not going to happen, right? Because it just it doesn't, right? So trading, you've just got to kind of at the moment. I think the best thing to do is either if you're investing, um, you've got to know what you're investing in, and you've got to have a reason of why you're investing into that card, right? So for instance, Harry Kane's, as you can see, I sold some for thirty-seven, some for forty-two. Uh, we picked up this card for 80, 1,500, which gives me about 4,000 after tax. And we picked up this Navas for about 34, so on for 41. Now, I've still got loads of these cards, right, investing-wise, right? So, I can see Navas, 34, 33, 34, 34, 34, 34, 35. And then I've got a few more, I think. Yeah, I've got one more. Uh, I've got Joe Gomez, because I think he's going to go up a little bit, probably 32, 33k after rewards when people start buying back for their teams. I should have bought Sunday, trend trading like that kind of happens. Sunday you get a sell-off by midweek, the next week, you know, Thursday, Friday comes around, they're up a little bit more. And then you've got, what I mean, as you can see, Hurricanes here, 32, 34, 30, 30, 30. I've got so many of them. Um, going to have a look as well, as you can see, 31, 32, 30. I, I think I've got some like 34, yeah, on the, on the steep end, but that's not really to worry because... We definitely make our coins back off them. So that's kind of the investment wise I'm talking about. SBC fodder is probably the safest investment ever. Uh, I've said it on my previous videos. If they go down to a certain price, you just have to buy them, right? I should have put all my coins into Hurricanes and 88s and 87s. Unfortunately, I just did it. I, when I come on here to do it, because uh, I'm at work, come back in the evening at like 9 o'clock, at 10 o'clock sometimes. And yeah, they've already released the SBC, the Icon SBC in it. And it went up. So. Everyone's looking for that kind of one player to snipe. It doesn't work like that, right? There's not one player that's going to help you snipe. There are numerous players that can help you um, get coins, right? So, for instance, David De Gea here, right? It's 22, 750. Now, the market at the moment is really competitive for me just because it is, what's the time? All right, 10 to 3, right? So, well, quarter to 3. So, not many cards are up and everyone's a bit competitive. So, 24K for a David De Gea. That's probably what you're looking at. You'll probably see bids going to about 23K. 23 5 things like that as you can see 23k then have a look at this david de Gea. he's 23k right and it probably still get another bid on him just because people are i don't know they're just annoying and they just outbid for the sake of outbidding sometimes so that's kind of what i would do there right i would kind of look on the market look at other players and go with that right so you could probably snipe a david de Gea, right goalkeepers are good to do so i'm not saying david de Gea is going to make you thousands of coins you know 50,000 coins a day and stuff to make 50,000 coins a day, it depends not on your methods, it's, you've just got to spend hours doing this, right? So, I haven't really been on FIFA today at all. Um, I haven't been on it in the last couple of days, really. I've played a few games of Rivals this morning, that was about it. Um, and I've just come on ready and bought all these all these cards. Once, If I sell them now for the price they're going for, I'd probably make about anywhere from like 80 to 90k. And that's me not even coming onto the game. It's quite simple, you just got to really know what you're trading into. And what you're buying into. So, for instance, go Joe Gomez, right? He went down to 27k on Sunday. That's probably not that Gomez. I just and Joe would be quicker. That's the cheapest he was gonna be, right? Just because that's kind of the trend at the moment, right? You, Sunday is the lowest day to buy. People think it isn't, or they're they buy back when they get rewards. It isn't the cheapest day to buy. Trust me, it'd be uh well sell. Sorry, the best time to sell. It's the cheapest. Um, it is the cheapest day to buy. You end down to about 27, 26. So you're probably 27 average. You're probably looking anywhere from 25 to 26, right? This card again will most likely go up. Why I think he most likely go up is because people are then just going to go and buy him for their weekend league teams, right? He may be up a little bit at the moment because of uh, icon swaps and things like that. That's probably why he's gone up a little bit more. But all in, you're probably looking at Joe Gomez is probably going to go up. Same with Mendy, right? Fernand Mendy. They're the most popular players on this game. Most popular popular cards on this game so these cards may go up so it might be interesting just to see just keep an eye out and see where they go um Fernand Mendy was down to 41k he's back up to about 36 I mean so that's a nice little bit of profit if you picked him up uh and that's kind of what you're looking for now players that can do this right so you've got uh inform Paul Pogba right I think Pogba is going to be one of them cards that is going to go for, it's going to go a little bit more than what he's going for now I think he's about 380 or 390. Okay, what is he? He's just shy of 400k, right? So you, you probably need him to go up to about 430 or something like that. Is there many up on the market? I mean, there's there's not that many, right? 
I rank that many up, which kind of makes me think it could be a good, it could be a good card to invest in. Because as you can see, there's not really many. I mean, three, four pages, or five pages, you've got like six pages, and that's it goes out of packs to tomorrow. Not only that, but, you know, there's not many of them, so I may go and pick one of these cards up if I get them for the right price. Uh, I look on later on this evening. You're probably looking at best time to buy in the evenings when everyone's on selling their teams and whatnot i know a lot of people buy on their teams but a lot of people will be selling as well so pop would be interesting to do with the trade in front of things right and and filters and that defined um look with objectives and sbcs that's kind of where everything goes from because that's where everyone needs to buy for so you can go with let's say um calcia a got the right backs because everyone needs a right back right gold common let's go and have a look how much they're going for right now, I know they're not that expensive, as you can see here, right? Not that expensive. You're probably looking at, like, 1,000, right? Probably 1,000 coins. That's going to be 50 coins um, tax on that. So, anywhere from, like, if you can get, like, 750, or you can pick a bunch up for, like, 700 coins, you're going to make, like, 250 coins a card, which if you're picking up four cards, that's 1,000 coins every time. So, like, 700 coins there. I'm going to pick that up. 450, I'm going to bid on that. 450 gonna bid on this card 750 gonna bid on that it's gonna be 200 coins a card um gonna bid on this card and you're just gonna bid on some right and they may not work out right you may not get them but some of them you will get so that's what i'd go with they're quite simple same with right backs and center backs and things like that it's gonna have a look at their price as you can see i think you've got the league spcs out as well for calcet ace the center backs are actually Quite expensive at the moment you've got about there you go one one unfortunately you can get it but you're looking at about one five for an easy sell right so one five probably an easy sell anything under like so we've got that card for 700 we're gonna make 250 coins profit on that card if we did end up getting these cards as well would make over a thousand coins it's just like that right it's just easy if you've got ten thousand coins i mean it doesn't take long right so you're probably looking at I don't know, you could probably make in like 15, 20 minutes, you could probably make like 5 or 6k. So you could probably make 10k an hour just by doing something like this. Now that's 800 coins, not really interested in that. I still profit, right? You'll still probably make, what, 150 coins on that. I'm just going to bid on it for the sake of it, it doesn't really matter. And then for centre backs in this league, you probably want to go like 1 1. Try and pick one up for 1 1. Here we go, 850 coins. We're a bit slow to that one, but that again, that would have been like four, probably like five, six hundred coins profit, which again is actually quite nice, right? Here we go again for, I mean, I've missed that a hundred percent. Yeah, four hundred coins that popped up for, and in the evening times, some of these cards are going to go dirt cheap just because not everyone. So like, there you go, thousand coins for him. It looks like he was going to go for nine fifty. Ventus cards are a bit more expensive. I think they're on the region about two five. So you're going to have to go and search for some of these cards. Um, and see what their exact price is, but one two there we can sell for one five is not so bad. Seven fifty. I'm going to compare his price because we get this card a lot, right? So three fifty there. A bit seven hundred on him. I didn't get that card. Not the end of the world. Six hundred there. He's got too long on him, so I'm not going to be interested in that one. But that's what you're going to be looking for, right? You're going to be looking for players that are just easy to pick up. Cards that you can pick up quite quick and quite fast and it's going to earn you the most coins hope this helped i know it's, uh, it's going to be a little short video but i hope that helped I hope it kind of puts you on the perspective of you can't just there's not one player that's going to make you too many coins it's just simple trading really it's just knowing the market knowing which players to buy when the market's busy as well buying when the market's busy and then selling when the market's low because that kind of helps as well because if the market's low that means there's less on the market which means people have to pay overpriced for cards doesn't move for the video. I hope it helped you in any way. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.